Hey, what's up guys? Um, we're going to do a little teaser here on some of the episodes that we're going to do. Um, everybody's on lockdown, so it's kind of tough to do any episodes. Um, Corona's stuck at home. We're going to actually swing over to him here later and see what uh, products he has over there that he still needs to throw and we need to get together and do some episodes. Um, for now, I'm hanging out with Eddie. Um, he doesn't talk much either, so he's just going to hang out here for a bit. Uh, be my sidekick, agree with everything I say. So um, here we go, let's just uh, jump right in. So uh, in case you were under a rock, we had a big event this weekend, the uh, Big Mouth, the Battle of the Big Mouths. It was basically all the podcasts versus the YouTubes using, it. it was, you know, Dogcast podcast versus Big Ask versus uh, Central Connecticut versus Bruising and Reviews. And we did a virtual tournament which right now is all the rage, and I recommend you guys try to get on some of those. Those are, it's a great way to keep throwing and actually keep in contact with people, and just while we're, you know, under wraps, these things are all gonna clear up. Things will go back to normal, start throwing again for real in real games. Um, but yeah, so that event went off, and uh, we had some pros come in and uh, commentate. Well, it was, uh, who did we have? We had Matt Guy come in, we had, um, oh geez, Frank Maudlin. Uh, Jay Corley, Jay Rubin, um, Michael Meacham came in and talked for a while, William Howell, um, and it was just, it was great, it was a lot of fun, <laughs> watch the video, you can see it on Facebook if you go to Scoreholio Live, or if you go to the Bruising and Reviews page, or any of the podcast pages, Dogcast, Big Ass, uh, Central Connecticut, they all have it on there too, so check that out, it's, it's a fun watch, it's a little hard because it's on Zoom, but you get the gist, basically all we did was chase Jay Bell around to try and get him on a tablet and get him in the, in the tournament, so, but it's funny, it's good to hear, and then there's some good commentary, thanks to Ben from Scoreholio for running that thing and commentating and interviewing all the pros that were on there, um, we're going to do it again, that was a lot of fun, um, Steve stepped it up for us, it was, uh, we ended up getting second, big ass, got first, congrats, uh, Sean and Dane, um, in fact, they are going to get these bags right here. So we made some bags thanks to Matty King. Um, big mouth bags, these are one of a kind. No, no other ones have been made, though they're gonna to go to the winners. They will enjoy those bags. Um, and then we are gonna do it again. We're hoping to do it maybe live and uh, at the Make-A-Wish tournament with all of us so we can actually play some real physical games. And uh, we'll step it up then, we'll see what happens. So um, Steve, like I said, he brought it home for uh, Bruise and Views on that. Just barely missed winning it. Uh, Brandon from Doghouse, Dogcast through, freaking great. Um, yeah, all those guys, it was fun. It was good to get to know to the big ass group. Those guys are awesome. We'll be seeing a lot of them, we'll be promoting them. And yeah, there's so many great podcasts now, you know, especially with us being locked up at home. A lot of good stuff to listen to. I mean, you've got the Dogcast, Brandon and Donnie. You've got uh, Big Apps, Sean and uh, Dane. You've got uh, the Central Connecticut guys if they ever get it together. You got um, Cito's Corner, Cornhole Corner. So um, a lot of stuff. We got our videos coming. We're gonna try to do some more stuff once this clears up. Um, really, this video is to just kind of get you to see what we have lined up because we have a lot of products lined up. Um, for instance, we've got uh, Ace Cornhole, another great bag company out of Canada. Um, Steve actually has the rest of these. So um, we'll see what we can do with those. Um, we have Mother Shuckers. Steve has a couple more sets of these. Um, I have these, we're gonna, we're gonna do a review show on those. Um, we have actually kind of found our favorite on, on these, the Mother Shucker set, so we'll go over those. Primal Bags, this is a new company. Cruise out of uh, New Mexico. That's a, that's a pretty decent bag, so we'll see what that can do. Um, we got Jake Childs, who has come up with an Airmail 5000 invention. So um, we have not tried this yet. I've heard a lot of people like it. I um, guess you don't have to buy an airmail box, you just buy that and it just suctions down to your board. And you can work on airmail, so looking forward to trying that. Um, I know the Dogcast guys love that thing. Um, Jake also sent us some money bags, so we're gonna give those a run and see how those work out um, and give our reviews. Um, if you notice, some of the pages have been popping up on um, CornholeCentral.com. We are doing a lot with Greg over there where um, basically you can go on and investigate a bag and there will be a video there, there will be our rating there, and then there will also be an area where you can comment if you have the bags and you've thrown them and you can do your rating. All the ratings from you guys will get averaged together. So it's gonna be a big community, it's a great website. Um, yeah, 
Good game. Okay. So I also want to say a big thank you to uh, Brandon and Donnie for sending out this IPA. This is uh, from uh, 617, Title Town. This is actually a pretty decent beer. Oh, that's good stuff. Waited for a long time to, we've been trying to wait to do some episodes to drink that, but uh, I'm not waiting, I'm stuck in here. So um, some questions, comments, leave them below. Um, shout outs. Um, man, I just hope everybody's at home safe and uh, staying healthy. That's the best thing. Some of you are having to work and uh, just be careful out there. Um, it's, it's a crazy flu, but uh, it's survivable. It's just, just stay healthy. So um, with that being said, oh, um, we also, a shout out to Matty King. So we have, we have the Infernos, the Jersey Guy Infernos here. Those are available on the website. The Jersey Guy website, so you can get those there. Those are going to be a limited run, um, and then we made a special. I don't know what we're going to do with these yet. So, we and Brennan out of West Georgia did uh, this bag here for Joe Exotic. So um, it's, it's on a Hellfire, um, and we also did one set for um, you know, of Infernos with that same design with Maddie King. Um, we may raffle those off or. Um, to raise some more money for some more episodes so we'll keep you posted on that um we are going to have a mini store on the jersey guy site where you can buy brews and reduce stuff you can buy the jerseys you can buy the dirty bag hats um the brc hats you can buy um cornhole sets from uh, our sponsor obc um all cornhole we'll have some uh, brews and reviews bags up there um so yeah check that out that should be up soon um, I think that's about it. I think we'll uh, we'll cut over to Steve and see what uh, see what he's got going on over there. Check you guys out later. Stay safe. What's up, guys? This is Corona from Brews and Reviews Cornhole. I uh, just wanted to get at you guys to let you guys know that we're still in production. This COVID-19 is kind of putting a damper on everything, which everybody knows. Uh, but right now, I'm drinking some Dust Bowl Brewing Company, some Hops of Wrath IPA. Might as well not let it get us down, you know. Gotta at least have some fun, drink some beer. But I'm gonna let you guys know what we got in store for you in the next few episodes. Um, once we can get production back in, which hopefully we can get it in soon. But again, this, uh, it's been crazy times and I hope everybody's been safe out there, covering up, staying home, uh, playing some virtual cornhole. I know I have. But, uh, yeah, uh, Chris has some stuff at his place that we're going to be doing. I got some stuff here that I've been playing with, so some top secret Canadian bags from uh, Ace Cornhole Gear. Can't get too close. There's some big things lined up with these guys. Love the way these things feel, but we'll get, your, we'll get the review when we start shooting with these things. But Ace Cornhole, all in bags. Um, gonna be a big deal. Got a uh, how beautiful how beautiful that logo is. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Anyways, we do have those lined up. Um, we also are doing a couple of boards. This is Gorilla Boards locally here at Oxnard out of my area. Oxnard, California. Nice sturdy board. Uh, I play with these all the time um, during my tournaments. He's a great sponsor and uh, always giving he's, you know he's always supporting the cornhole community Phil and uh, Joanne at Oxnard California but we'll be reviewing those upcoming episodes also we'll be reviewing uh, at Santa Paula California another set of awesome bitchin boards love these boards kind of kind of take these with me everywhere I go just because they're, they're such a pretty board but all hand painted, hand crafted, Mariano uh, 3B cornhole out of Santa Paula again. Um, again, it's a beautiful board. Uh, so happy you got this done for us. Again, we'll be reviewing these boards in upcoming episodes. Um, yeah, so I miss miss our cornhole family, but we gotta do what we gotta do during these times. Gotta drink some more beer. Um, I also have something really cool I need to show you guys. Um, let me just pop to one second. Mm. So good. So we got 
out of Bakersfield. Ugh. Got a set of boards in here, that's why it's so heavy. Anyways, we got this carrying board that we're going to be reviewing. It's, it's our carrying bag, I should say. Super neat. Uh, it's out of projectcornhole.com. Get with Chase if you want some more information. But we're going to be actually putting this on the episode as well. Um, man, super sturdy. Uh, not going to give too many details since we're going to be reviewing it and showing you what it's all about. But this is going to be a thing of the future for everybody that has one set of boards and go to the park, go to the beach. This is the thing you want to haul it in. So, yeah, let me get this the way. Ah, pretty bitchy. Nice. Oh, I dropped beer. Anyways, I'm gonna keep what my uh, doghouse brothers in the East Coast say. I'm gonna keep smashing some beers, getting wasted. Okay, I'm not gonna get wasted. I'll get in trouble, but I'll get halfway wasted maybe. Anyways, um, so that yeah, that's what's coming forward in the next few episodes. Uh, we still got a lot more product. Chris has. I'm sure he's gonna be letting you guys know about it. But till then, man. Uh, Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next few months to get some production going and get some more reviews out to you guys. We miss you guys. We love you guys. Stay safe. Cheers.